I'm working with this pivot table here. We have created it. We've got everything over here. This is Office 2016. This works with earlier versions. What I want to know in here, I have a budget here. I want to know what percent I'm spending each month on different categories. This is relatively easy to do this. It gives you little summaries here. This is set up this way. I want to know the percent here where it says values here. I take my mouse. I click inside here. I say value field settings. I want to make it look like percents. So first thing I'm going to do is change the formatting here. I click on percentage. And let's say I want only one decimal point. Change it. Say OK. If I click on OK now, it's not going to do too much here. What I want to do is to show the values in a specific way. I click on show values as. It says no calculation. I could say percent of column total. That means what percent of each month. That's the column. I say OK. So it's saying I've spent these percents on these things. Let's say I want to know what percent entertainment is of the grand total. I click inside here again. I click on value field settings and I go to show values as not percent of column total. You've got different choices here. I'm going to say grand total and then let's say where it says sum of amount. I could give it a custom name. I could call this percent of grand total just copying what's down below I say okay and it's showing that of these three months here what has occurred however I want to show one final thing in here let's say we had to change a number I'm gonna go into here and let's say January I'm just gonna make this up and make it five hundred dollars I go back into the pivot table it's not showing it what I have to do is to update this if I click on design here I meant to analyze and you see where it says refresh I say refresh all and it's showing how things have dramatically changed in here I'm going to go back into here. I'm just going to change this back to, let's say, 35. I'm going to go back into the pivot table. And if I refresh all again, the numbers have changed instantly. So this little tutorial shows you how to convert things into percents.